Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today I want to build a jungle shelter. How it should look and how I build it, you see in this video. Stay tuned. This is my plan. I search for four trees that stand in a good um, combination. So I want to have a live trees. Um, so it is easier for me to build the shelter and I don't have to put um, trees for the rustrum in the ground. So these are my four trees and here between I want to make a massive rustrum and on top a roof. So I think this needs very much time. So look how wide we came today. Let's start! My equipment today is a natural string and a paracord. I don't like to use um, plastic strings in the nature, to left it in the nature. This here is only for the, um, what's the word, cost drum. So um, I only use a small bit of it. And then the upper one knife, the silky big boy saw, and wetterlings axe, and my pouch with first aid, and the other small equipment. And of course, my hand, my hands, and my head. So this is the place where I want to build the shelter, here between the trees, here and then here and here is the end. So this tree stands in a good constellation, so it is easy for me to build it. Um, I start at a meter, in a meter high and yeah, now I need very much branches and trees. I use a branch to see how long the other branches must be, so I can put the branch at the another branch and make a mark where I had to saw that I don't must more work than it is really need.
I've made me four posts. This one here, um, there are four of them, will carry the weight of my rust drum. So at first I had to fix them. They had all the same length and after fixing the, the post um, I can build the rust drum here on top. The alive trees are to making the shelter stable and this one here will carry the weight. I had now to fix the post that will later carry the weight of the shelter here with the tree that is alive. So, and I fix it with the natural string. I put this branch here at my post and make me a mark here because here I had to make a notch with the X that it better fits to the alive tree. So the first part of the rust drum is ready. When you cut the paracord, you should um, close the end with the fire because when you do this knot, the inner one of the string of the paracord comes outside and then um, yeah, the whole string is damaged. So just put it with your, just melt it with your lighter for a short time, but um, be careful because it can burn too. So and you should look that it don't lay on the ground and then burns and be careful with your fingers, don't touch it 
when it is hot because this hurts you a lot. The under construction is ready now, okay, not complete ready. Um, this is not so easy for me because I don't have that much muscles and power, but it is possible and this is the only thing what is important. You can do it, it is no matter how long you need, you can do it. So I need till now two and a half hour. I thought I would be faster, but okay. Yeah, and now I must to, um, build the, the area where I can sit and sleep. I think about how to build the top of the rust drum. When I lay the branches like this, I don't have to saw the branches um, and make them shorter. This means I don't need so much energy. And maybe I lay comfortable like this. But um, the branches had to be very stable, very fresh. So, and otherwise I can build it like this. I had to make the branches smaller, needs more energy, but it is more stable. Yeah, now I had to look what branches I've got, how stable they are, and then I make a decision how I build it.
a few branches have here those old branch bubbles and I make them away because it would be very uncomfortable to lay on top of it. The first step is ready now and my power is also ready. I had no power anymore. It is a very hot summer day today and yeah, this is too much for me. So I need a rest now, but yeah, it is okay for one day. It is always so sad to see how many times you need to build such a small thing. So um, I had very much luck that here in this area is so much dead wood. Um, at another, another place I had to search for longer time than here. And this costs so much time searching and make them small with the axe or with the saw and then bring it here again to the camp. So, um, but for a project, a building project like this, I don't want to cut um, trees that are alive. I use only dead wood because um, I use this shelter when it is ready in the summer. And in the winter time, I will remove everything, bring the paracord with me at home because this is plastic and I don't want to leave it in the nature. So, and this stand not in relation for the using when I cut fresh wood here. Um, it will be another thing when I came here every weekend and use it for a longer time. Then I said, okay, it is okay to cut fresh wood because you need it for a long, long time. But um, for me, this is not an option. So, yeah. Okay, um, at the next part, I will fix those branches here with a string so that it is more um, stable. And then I make branches here and here and make then a roof. And at the next step, I will cover the roof. So it is a lot to do, a lot of work. But um, yeah, I am happy when I can sleep the first time in it. So yeah, stay strong. <laughs> now we take a look what I built today. The ticks are also there, there helps only searching, 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 yeah, and the mosquitoes are also here. So I've built a tropical shelter and had tropical mosquitoes. Enough work for today. Thank you for watching and if you want to see how the tropical shelter looks when it is ready, stay tuned. Have a great time. Bye bye.